So you mm -hmm. are a big influence on Grace, and she's going to be looking at you mm -hmm. and saying, oh, and Dad, mm -hmm. too. Okay. <coughs> so I don't know what you want to add to that, Sydney. I know yeah, there was um, a lot to... Oh. A sample. A sample. Yeah. 就榜样, 父母做孩子的榜样, 啊, the story about the Helaman warriors and their and their mother being mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these um there were stripling warriors, mm -hmm. so fighters and they were in um they were in battle and there was about two thousand of them. So mm -hmm. a lot. And all of them were valiant and righteous soldiers and it was all it talks a lot about it being because of their mother, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. her righteous example, you know, reading her scriptures and praying and and going to church and those kind of things, you know, that um, mm -hmm. that our that our heavenly Father asks us to do, and mm -hmm. and those and her son, all of those women, mm -hmm. had such a big influence on their son, mm -hmm. and and, we have to be careful. and they were they were protected because they were so righteous. Mm -hmm. and so valiant and they did their they didn't doubt they didn't have doubts mm -hmm. their mother's faith and father's was very strong mm -hmm. at that time these were a group of people mm -hmm. who used to be Lamanites mm -hmm. yeah, the Lamanites were always well not always but usually mm -hmm. unrighteous mm -hmm. the Nephites were usually righteous okay so we're kind of looking so these people used to be Lamanites, mm -hmm. and they were converted mm -hmm. and changed their ways and became righteous. <clears throat> but the other Lamanites were angry with them. And so the Lamanites often would, would have wars and try to kill the Nephites. These people who were converted felt so bad because the things they did before they became members. So they repented and became tried to be good, but they kept remembering what they did and how they had fought and killed many Nephites. And so they made a covenant with the Lord that they would never kill again, no matter what, mm -hmm. because they were afraid other sins would come back, the ones that they had repented of, if they even killed someone, even if it was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. So they made a covenant never to kill again. And I think that covenant was so strong and that they kept it. And their sons saw that their parents, even though war was coming, they still would not kill the enemies, the Lamanites coming to them, mm -hmm. because they were so afraid of, of sinning. Mm -hmm. They only wanted to do good things. And so then they thought, oh, well, maybe we need to help because these Nephites need more help for their armies. But they... Everyone talked them out of breaking their covenant. They didn't want them to break their covenant, and so they didn't. And so their sons saw them keeping their covenants no matter what. So they promised the Lord they want to keep it always. And so that I think that was part of it, keeping yeah. their covenants and being a strong example of, of once you've made a covenant, to never do the wrong, you know, to always do good. And so that strong commitment to the Lord made them very good examples to their sons. Oh, oh mm -hmm. honey. You getting rid of that, huh? You getting rid of that? Mm -hmm. 